Good evening, everybody. I'm Victoria Bordenga. Brendan Reedy has the night off. Last night was a big night for Q&D's Abby Shrek as she set a new all-time scoring record in all of Quincy's high school basketball. But tonight, the Lady Raiders faced a new challenge as they played host to the South Shelby Ladybirds. Both teams have had a dominant season so far. Q&D is ranked number one in Illinois Class 2A, and South Shelby is number three in Missouri's Class 3. Needless to say, this was a highly anticipated matchup, so let's get to those highlights and see how this showdown turned out. As expected, the pit was packed with fans ready to watch a good game tonight. Q&D gets the ball to start at the first, and they give it to no other than Abby Shrek, who wastes no time to post up and ice home the three. Shrek ready to play from the jump. Lady Raiders playing quick, pass it to Sage Stratton in the quarter, goes for the deep tray and finds the bottom of the net. QHS dropping threes with ease. After halftime, South Shelby looking to answer as Bell Roush moves around three defenders and kisses one off the glass for two. Lady Cardinals trying to surge back. Miranda Patterson now once in on the action. She shoots from three-point land and buries the tray. South Shelby trying to stay in this game. Lady Raiders won't give up that easy, though. They find Shrek again, who hits a nice little jumper and drops the deuce. Shrek will end the night with 29 points for Q&D and wins the MVP. Your final at the pit, the Lady Raiders streak will continue as they defeat South Shelby 67-55. Just down the street this afternoon, the Lady Blue Devils play host to the Maroons of Moline. The Lady Blue Devils' last home game of the season was this afternoon. QHS was ready from the start as they dish the rock to Haley Shirtle, who rattles home the three. Hustle play there from the blue and white. Lady Blue Devils keeping their momentum going as Asia Sangmeni will connect at the rat for the hoop and the foul. Nice play there from 24. Late in the first quarter now, Taylor Foey gets her hand on the ball and Sydney Welsh will do the rest, taking it coast to coast and finishing with the easy layup. Sophomore for QHS getting it done for the home team. Lady Blue, De De Lady Blue Devils looking to set up a play and they find Taylor Foey down low who hits the rock off the glass for two. Taylor Foey put up 14 points in this matchup. Your final after four, your Lady Blue Devils are going to win this big Western Six showdown 53 to 27. QHS improves to be 17 and 11 on the season. Let's take a look at some more girls action. Central Southeastern wins over Marquette Catholic 59 to 26. Mending Unity gets by Cairo 68-41. In the La Plata Invitational Tournament Girls Championship game, North Shelby girls win it, defeating Schuyler County 54-49. In Misha girls action, Marion County loses to Silex 50-37. The Quincy Notre Dame Raiders were also in action at home this evening. They're looking to add to their winning streak after defeating Payson yesterday. QND cheerleaders getting Raiders Nation pumped up as they play host to the Bearcats of Cairo. Raiders looking to build on an early lead as they found Alex Knoyer in the paint. He's going to connect at the rack for the pair. QND now turning on the Jets as they make their way down the court and finding him again. Alex Knoyer, he's going to hit another one off the window. Good hustle play there by the Raiders. Raiders swinging the rock around the next play, finding the man of the first quarter. You guessed it. Knoyer bodies his defender and drops the deuce. Number 22 being a shot creator for Q&D. Trying to add to their lead, the Raiders find Charlie Lavery down low, who gets the layup for two. Q&D came to play in this matchup. After four quarters, Q&D will go on to win this contest 67 to 40. The Raiders are now 15 and eight on the season. Earlier this afternoon, Danny Stevens and company for the Southeastern Suns preparing to take on the Warriors from Steelville. Early in the first quarter, Danny Stevens making his, his defenders work, spin out of traffic and makes his way to the rack for the pair. Stevens adding to the Suns early lead. Southeastern dishing the rock to Aiden Akers, who looks at first to pass and then says, nah, I got this. He sinks in the trifecta, the sophomore making it rain threes. We love to see it. Suns. Throw in Danny Stevens, who will get on the three ball action. Steven cashes in from downtown. Stevens will go to have 35 points in this game. The Suns trying to keep their foot on the gas. They pass it again to Aiden Akers from three point land and bullseye. Akers firing on all cylinders for the Suns. Your final when it's all said and done. Southeastern will go on to win against the Warriors 56 to 41. Let's take a look at some more boys hoop action from today. Liberty gets by Monroe City 35 to 31. West Central gets the victory over Alton Marquette 54 to 54 to 46. Marion County Mustangs get the win over Silex 60 to 38.
Canton also gets the win in third place in the La Plata tournament over Schuyler County, 61 to 46. Looking at college hoop actions for women's college basketball, John Wood loses against ICC, 72 to 58. Culver Stockton College come up shorts against Evangel, 74 to 73. QU falls to defeat against Indy, 68 to 58. In college men's basketball, Quincy University loses to Indianapolis, 76 to 70, and John Wood gets the win over ICC in overtime, 94 to 98.